Start recording. Start recording. Good. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, Thomas and Nikki here. We were going to do the videos. We're, we were going... Yeah, we were going to do the videos at, um, what is it, uh, 2 o'clock my time, but I can't do them at 2 o'clock my time because I'm going to be doing the lawn cutting video at 2 o'clock my time. My dad is cutting the lawn today, uh, so that's what's up, but we were able to do them now. I do have a topic today. Uh, we're going to talk about um, long-distance relationships, and we're going to talk about... <laughs> When you're in a long distance relationship, we're going to talk about FaceTiming. Um, we're going to talk about FaceTiming 24 7, like Megan and like my ex girlfriend Megan and I did, and what the drawbacks can be and what the pros and cons can be. Um, so, from November to January, Megan and I FaceTimed 24 7. We were on the phone. All the time. Uh, the only time that we weren't was when the calls would drop. Um, the pros, I mean, one of the pros to this is, you know, we were together all the time on the phone. Um, and, you know, um, that's one of the pros. Um, one of the drawbacks is you don't, if you if you are in a relationship, long distance relationship, and you do decide to do this, one of the drawbacks that you might run into is you're not going to have much time to yourself. Um, you know, space is important, and time to yourself is important, and you might become you might become like if the person asks for space, like. Maybe let's just say if they don't cha like if they if they don't dis like if they decide you know this is not working you know why don't we you know figure out something else one of the one of the I don't know if this is a drawback but one of the things that might happen to you is you might become so attached to that person you might not be willing to um, give them their space. And that can and that can ruin and and that didn't happen with us. I'm just using that as an example. Um, that can ruin your uh, relationship, and it can end because of that. Um, you know, another and 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 one of the pros is you kind of have a portable girlfriend or a portable boyfriend where you have them on your phone all the time. You can carry them around <laughs> wherever you want. You know, um, but in our case, I would just. You know, if I was going out, sometimes I would just, I would ask her if she wanted to come with me, or I would just leave my phone home and she'd do her own thing, um, you know, while still being on the phone. Um, but a con to that is, if you need your phone while you're out, you don't have it. Unless, uh, right, unless, well, that's a good point. Um what 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 happened was if I needed my phone when I went out, like let's just say if I had an Apple Store appointment, right? Mm -hmm. What I would do is just FaceTime her on my iPad, and if the call dropped, I would just FaceTime her when you know I got home on my phone. So that wasn't a big deal. But if you don't have an iPad, then you'd have to call them back, um, which is of course a no you know no big deal. Um, and of course, I mean, it, w it was, I will say it was nice, um, for a while and then it, it kind of, it kind of got a little bit taxing, um, for me because her, her sleep schedule is like mine. It's, um, sporadic. She's a night owl like I am. And what would happen was when I, you know, I would want to sleep when she would sleep because, you know, I wanted to stay up and you know, talk to her, and, you know, she always said I could sleep whenever I wanted to sleep, um, but I didn't want to sleep, I wanted to stay up with her, um, so, what is it, so I would sleep when she would sleep, um, which wasn't really very much, 
Um, so you can also lose a lot of sleep if you if you're on the phone, you know, FaceTime with with somebody twenty four seven. What I could have done was just gone to sleep, and if the call dropped, the call dropped. But you know, I wanted to be with her all the time, and she wanted to be with me all the time. So I, you know, I wasn't I wasn't thinking about that at the time. But that's maybe something that you might want to think about. If you're FaceTiming somebody 24-7, with somebody 24-7, if they say, hey, go to sleep, you know, get your sleep, you might want to just think about, just just get your sleep. I know you want to spend time with them, but sleep is important. They'll be there when you get back or when you wake up, you know, and that's what she always told me. She's like, you know, you can go to sleep. I'll be here when you wake up. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, there are pros and there are cons to to, you know, to doing this. Um, and I wanted to talk about this because it, it is an important topic. And maybe there is someone right now who is in a relationship who is doing this. Um, so, yeah. Um, do, you have any, do you have anything to uh, say about this topic or, or uh, any advice? Or? Um, just if you're thinking about doing this, consider all your options. Like... Think about whether you actually want to do it or if you want to maybe just talk for a few hours a day or if you want to, you know. Yeah, looking, looking, you know, looking back on it now, it was nice, but what I probably would have, what I probably would do now if we, all right, well, if we were still dating, I would probably say, all right, let's do this. Let's. Let's just FaceTime, you know, only at night. Like, like we'd like for example, if we were still dating, we would sleep on FaceTime, and then we could get off FaceTime, you know, in the morning, um, you know, when we woke up, and that would be it. You know, of course, we'd text throughout the day, but then that would be it until that night. Like, you know, so, something like that. That's that's um, that's definitely reasonable. And I before she broke up with me, I. I did offer, uh, I did ask her if she, if she, you know, was, you know, interested in, in doing that, but she, uh, you know, said no. Um, but that's an option, you know, think about that guys, you know, um, think about that. Um, cause that's, you know, because then that leaves you and her to do what you want during the day. But then at night, that's your time and her time, you know. Um, so I would, if we were still together, I would definitely do that instead. I mean, it's nice to do it 24-7, but like I said, honestly, it, it can become a little bit taxing. Um, right. As nice, it, as nice as it was, it was, it was towards the end of the relationship, relationship it was becoming a, 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 a little bit taxing for me. Uh um, so, a bit much, yeah. yeah, a bit much. Um, so, and, and um, so a little taxing for me. So I, I think that's what I would might suggest to y'all is ask your significant other, say, listen, can we change up things? Can we, would it be okay if we, you know, we can still FaceTime every day, but why don't we just, is it okay if we just keep it at night? Um, this way you and I can do what we need to do during the day and then at night that would be our time um and uh i think that would be i think that would be good um this way you guys have your space but at the same time you know you guys will always know that every night you guys will be with each other together yeah um so if if I could change if I could turn the time backwards would I do it again honestly no I would go with facetiming every day and you know facetiming every day but just keeping it you know just keeping it to the night you know keeping it to at night um so like I said it was nice it was really nice I really enjoyed it but you know at towards the end of the relation, towards the end of the relation, yeah, towards the end of the relationship, it was getting uh, a little bit taxing. So, 
Um, like I said, not to repeat myself, but like I said, I did want to talk about this because this is an important topic. Um, anything else you want to... Uh... Not really. No? Okay. All right. I don't really have experience with this, so I can't really add much to it. Oh, no, I, I, I totally get it. Um, and and from coming from someone who has done this, if you really want to do it, and if your significant other really wants to do it, by all means, go ahead. But it might become... I know, I know it might be exciting, like, oh, my God, I'm going to be with her all the time, or I'm going to be with him all the time. Yeah, that's great. But space in a relationship is important, and that's what I'm going to title this video. Space in a relationship is important. Um, it is. Everybody needs their space. Everybody needs their time to, um, to kind of do their own thing, to be, to be alone. Um, and I know, you know, that when you're in a relationship, Sometimes you don't want to be alone. Sometimes you want to be with that person all the time. But it is healthy um, to, to, uh, you know, to, to, to have that time for yourself and to have space. Uh, do you want to say anything about that, about space? Yes, it's very important to have space, but it's also important to communicate. So there's the fine balance. And yes, yes, absolutely. Now, let me ask you this. Um, if you and Mike were in a long-distance relationship, um, like let's just say if you lived there and he lived, I don't know, somewhere else, like in Florida or something, um, what, what would you, how would you handle, have you ever been in a long-distance relationship? Yes. Oh, you have? Okay, so never mind that. Scratch that. So how did you, how did you handle that at the time? Well, um, the person and I talked every day. Okay. Um, a couple times a day. Okay. When it was convenient for both of us. Okay. And we also, um, texted when it was convenient for us. Right. Like, one of us would send a message to the other one, and the other one would respond when it was convenient for them and would just text back and forth as it was convenient for us. Okay. And did, did he respect your space? Did, you, did he give you your privacy? Yeah. Did he give you your privacy and your, your space? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Also, if you decide to face if you guys decide to FaceTime... 24 um, 7 it's an un and it's an unrealistic expectation don't expect you know your ex or what did i say your ex oh i can't talk today i'm sorry don't expect your girlfriend or boyfriend to take you everywhere with them in the house you know they might want to not do that um you know they might leave you somewhere for a while and then come back or whatever you know, um, like Megan, you know, she she pretty much took me everywhere with her, of course, except the bathroom. Um, and that was her choice. Um, you know, um, and but that might not be the case. I mean, sometimes she would, um, you know, um, you know, like uh, need to go do something and she'd leave me in her kitchen or something for a little bit, which was fine. Like. You know, she has, like, I think I told you she has, um, you know, therapy sessions. Right. So for that, what, for that, we, we would, I would actually leave my room so she could do that. And she would have her iPad because um, we FaceTimed on her iPad. And uh, she would, she would, uh, what she would do is she would keep her iPad right near her just in case the call dropped. And then I would have my, uh, I would leave my phone in my room. And then the reason why she kept the iPad right near her is so when I'd come back after her session, uh, therapy session, she'd, you know, be able to answer the iPad. Um, you know, uh -huh. so that's the way she did it. And, you know, if there was something that she needed to go do, um, you know, she would leave me somewhere in her house. In my opinion, she should have just 
called you back after the session, so you didn't have to leave your phone. You mean in my room? Yeah, your room. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, so that's what, that's what she, that's what we did for that. And if, you know, if she needs to, if she needed to go do something, um, you know, she would just, uh, leave me somewhere for, for a little bit, you know, in the house, she'd leave me somewhere in the house for a little bit. Like more specifically, like if she needed to go do something in the house, in her house, she would just leave me somewhere in the, in, in the house. Um, uh, you know, and, and then she'd come back, um, you know, you know, in a little while. Um, so anyway, the point is you guys, it's, it's, you know, it's nice to do this, but there are some drawbacks, um, and, and there are some cons. So really think about it, really think about it before you, uh, before you do it. You know, it's it's a nice thing. You know, it, don't get me wrong; it's it's a really nice thing to do, but it did get ta a little bit taxing near the end of the relationship. So, anyways, um, you know, just think about it. You know, just 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 to think about it. if that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah. Well, I think we covered all bases, right? So I think. Uh, all right, so do you want to recommend some uh, channels or? Please check out Thomas's channel. That's well, I I don't need to spell it for you guys because you're <laughs> already here watching the video. Right. Um. But please like and subscribe to his channel. Please hit that notification bell, and feel free to leave comments down below. Please check out my channel, that's N-I-K-K-I-W-U-N-D-E-R-L-I-C-H. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and feel free to leave comments down below. Please check out Molly Burke. She's a blind YouTuber. She has a, she's an inspirational speaker and she has a guide dog named Gallup. Um, please check out... Um, Live accessible, um, yep. and I will let Thomas recommend the rest. All right, thank you. Uh, please check out Patty Mayo's channel. Please check out Lawn Boy eighty four sixty one's channel. Uh, please check. Please check out. What is it? Um, Yellow Brick. Thank you, Yellow Brick Cinema, and. Please check out Depression. Depression to Expression. Depression to Expression is a great YouTube channel uh, for people who have depression and anxiety or a mental illness. And um, check out Candid Mommy. And last but not least, Candid. Yep, I did her just now. Okay. So you all take care and please stick around for the lawn cutting video. Hopefully I can do this video in one video instead of part you know instead of instead of two parts what i'm going to do today is i'm probably going to leave my phone on the deck under the awning uh this way i don't get a temperature warning and this way i can do the you know it in one video rather than leaving my phone in the driveway um in in uh in a sunny spot like i've been like i've been doing because i just want to do this video in in one video if i can so you all take care and we'll see you guys tomorrow nikki and i will see you guys tomorrow night at nine her time, eight, sorry, nine my time, eight her time. Um, and y'all take care.